What collection did you have as a child that would have been worth a fortune now had your parents not thrown it away? Nearly all of the first 24 editions of virtually every Marvel series. From the Fantastic Four to Spider-Man, including the amazing tales in which he was introduced, to Iron Man, The Hulk, Thor, SGT, Fury and his Howling Commandos, basically all of them. At a comic book store I was once looking at some collector's editions of those comics priced at about $1,500 to $2,400. I said to the Clark man, I used to have all of these, the Clark, whom I'm sure was Matt Groening's model for comic book man, without even looking up said in a bored voice, do you know how many times a day I hear that? I never technically owned it, but I got to see it once. My grandfather's comic book collection. He would be 92 if still alive. It's in a chest in the original family home. Inherited by a hoarder who will probably lose it all someday. Honestly better than that is the huge luggage trunks the family brought to the states when moving from Czechoslovakia in the 1800s. They are in the same attic. Edit. 1. My father's side of the family is mostly Czech. My mother's side is an American mutt. I use Czechoslovakia for geographic reasons not national or historical. Americans generally don't know nor care. 2. My grandfather's sister ended up with the original house which is where the collections are. Her daughter has the home now caring for her father with dementia. We have a very good relationship with them. She is a caring person but everything is of value. You'd actually have no idea entering the living area of the home. It's the basement. Attic, garage other paid storage areas, all neatly crammed full. 3. I never expected this to blow up like this. I've never had more than 50 upvotes. I'd reply to everyone but it's pretty difficult. 4. There's a 25% chance I'd end up with possession of them someday. My father, brother and I are the only ones alive who know they exist. And the chest is clearly marked as my grandfather's. Who knows. I'm not greedy or looking for a quick buck. 5. I was only around 10 when I saw them. I don't remember what was in the collection. Not quite the same thing. But in 1997 I asked my parents to reinvest some money that was set aside for us by my grandfather. About $8,000 after tax. Into Apple stock. They were correct to tell me no. But I never quite put the thought away. If they didn't and were smart enough that we kept it. Not counting reinvested dividends. We'd have 349,127 shares today, at the current share price, $98,453,865. How my life could be different if my parents threw sanity to the wind and listened to their middle school age son about what he learned in class. Edit. To everyone commenting I agree I definitely would have sold some or all of it by now. Also if you want to learn about investing shout out to our personnel finance. Edit 2. Also I'm aware now that Google apparently includes stock splits in price history so $98 million is incorrect. I would still argue several million dollars is a pretty good return on $8,000. Edit 3. Phrasing. South African coin collection that my older sister threw away without consulting anyone. Edit. Wow. It looks like this resonated with a lot people. Thanks for all your responses and for the silver from the kind person. Stay well everyone. To answer your questions. Thankfully. They were not Kruger Rands. My parents would have kept those safe. They were random old copper coins that had become rare because they were old. I was young and naive and had never thought to value them. They may not have been worth that much at the time. But they were valuable to me for sentimental reasons. They may have been worth a few hundred each by now. Who knows. My sister was into different things at the time. So I don't think she had any clue about coin collecting. It was very mean to throw out my stuff and I think she realized this later on. But I don't resent her for it because we all make mistakes. Edit 2. Thanks for all the warnings and EMS about the Nigerian prince offer. You restored my faith in the goodness of people. I realized it was a scam style post but played along for fun. Sorry for causing concern. These scams are dangerous and are the cause of people losing their life savings. Thanks for staying vigilant. My mom had a collection of signed Beatles records that she threw away after she converted to Christianity because played backwards they summoned the devil or something. For years I was hoping to inherit it when I grew up. All I think it summoned was poverty. 
colon. I had the complete collection of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures. I packed them into a box and put them away then later when looking for them I couldn't find them. Asked my mother. Oh those. I threw them out. You weren't playing with them anymore. My brother had a bunch of first edition Pokemon cards. That he spent over a year collecting. Mom took them away for getting in trouble at school. And they were never seen again. I had over 1500 Pokemon cards and I gave them to my little cousin because he had a short lived Pokemon phase and now I'm wondering how much it was really worth. Edit. Wow. 5k upvotes. Thanks everyone. Jeez. After my mom died, my dad met this crazy Jehovah's Witness itch and one thing led to another. About a month before my high school graduation we got into a huge fight over something and she burned my collection of old D&D books and magic cards. Complete collections. Every first edition book in good condition signed by Gigax. Guess my brother knew him at some point. The real kicker? I rode a wave of the original Magic the Gathering launches back in the day. Complete sets of the original series through. Homelands. All burned to a crisp. Every once in a while when I want to be depressed about never being able to retire I look up the card values. Edit. For the curious. This was almost 25 years ago. I don't even know if the crazy H was still alive honestly. About 40 Indian arrowheads collected on my grandparents farm for years by myself and my grandfather and full sets of baseball cards from 1969 to 1980. My mom decided to toss out all that junk when I moved out for military. I had a huge collection of Magic the Gathering cards all in mint condition dating back all the way to Alpha that I collected as a young kid. My psycho mom decided that I had too much stuff that I enjoyed and threw out my collection and a bunch of other stuff. Edit 1. Some background is needed since there's a lot of issues of clarity on this collection. 1. I hung out with an autistic kid all the time as a kid and his dad owns a comic shop. So he would give me booster boxes at vendor cost and also give me tons of stuff as gifts for holidays and birthdays. He also knew how horrible my mom was. So he was always cool and teaching me stuff. All my friends used to order booster boxes through me and give me a few booster packs for helping. Most of them have me their collections when they quit playing. I also learned from him how to take care of my stuff properly. Which was something I enjoyed because my brother and sister broke my toys all the time and they ignored me when I had my cards or read books. 2. I bought everything myself with money I made for myself at 5 years old. I would fix other kids bikes. Molons. Shovel snow. Do yard work. Help old people with various things. ETC. The moment I could have a real job I got it delivering papers by bike at 12 years old. Asking my parents for money was basically like asking to play a prank on myself that wasn't funny. Right now I have a similar sensibility with money and trading favors with other professionals to get deals on stuff. I bought a new furnace and had it installed for a grand total of $2k because of a contractor friend of mine getting it for me, modifying it, and installing it himself because I designed all his business materials. He gives me deals like that all the time and helps me fix stuff because everything I did made his business blossom making him 3x what he normally did independently. That's an example. I also have a tax friend and other various friends in various trade fields that I do this with. It pays to be socially open open minded, caring, and diplomatic while having a good time. 3. While quite possibly a 1 million dollar collection. Maybe slightly under. I am offsetting this by the comics she did the same thing too. Basically by the time I left home my MTG collection, comic collection, soccer gear, signed artwork, and various other things were thrown away. If you add it up it definitely goes well above the 2 million dollar dollar mark. 4. 12 collections of MTG cards I was given were Alpha Arabian Nights. Every collection afterwards given to me had cards from there in them but were usually after beta. Over 30 collections with a majority being friends that followed my cues on care. They all those sleeves, binders, and boxes looked way cooler than torn up cards. 5. I post all the time in RA said binacists but I never thought this many people would care about losing that kind of collection. 6. I have no one to waste time suing my mom or the desire to deal with the drama. I prefer to have an excuse to not have her in my or my kids lives. 
I also don't talk to her much or let her in my kids lives. I have her a chance with my first son and she failed miserably. She was racist to his autism therapist the only time I'll let her take him to his ABA center. Which I smoothed over by meeting with them to explain her actions and words are not representative of me or my family. Her excuse was that things were too easy for me. So she tried to screw it up so I'd have to drive an hour away to the next best acceptable facility. She doesn't care. She's just that horrible type of parent that doesn't want you to be better off than she was at any point in your life. 7. My mom was way worse than just doing this. It wasn't done for any reason other than she hated that I was a strong-willed person that questioned everything when she wanted to control everything and everyone around her. So when I see people say she arbitrarily did it, she knew it would hurt traumatize me and possibly give up and fall in line with being the nobody she wanted me to be. 8. I feel for anyone who had similar experiences. 9. I don't believe in revenge. I believe in karma. 10. I was not going to sell my entire collection in college. I was going to sell a few of the expensive cards I had that I had more than 5 copies of. I was planning to save the rest for when they were so expensive I'd feel bad touching them. 11. My mom ruined a scholarship for studying abroad in high school where my room and board were paid for already and I would have a job tutoring English for extra money. She also spent my grandparents money that was set aside in my college account as my inheritance. Got me injured playing soccer costing me to lose a full ride to a university that won national titles every year I would have attended. Intentionally tried to sabotage me from being able to go to class in college. Lied to family constantly causing them to harass me about stuff I knew nothing about. And many other things I don't care to reminisce about. I did too. While this blew up. Thanks for the compliments and well wishing. I tried to comment back to as much as I could. I know I might have missed a few. Edit 3. Feel free to DM me so we can talk if you want to. I always enjoy talking to new people. All these responses are the reasons I keep all my son's stuff. He was a 90s kid. I have a big house with no one it. So I have the storage room. And I figure, why not? If it can earn me a few brownie points for being the parent who didn't throw out all her child's possibly valuable stuff. I'm in. I have virtually nothing from my own childhood for various financial reasons. And my husband was one of those who always bemoaned the loss of various childhood things that were thrown out by his mom. So I think it's important to not stack up one more card against myself by being that mom. Whenever he's ready, I have all of his video game systems with all of their games and boxes. Pokemon cards, which are really mine now. Hehe. <laughs> Street Sharks. Power Rangers. Superhuman Samurai, Beetleborg, Dragon Ball Z, and Star Wars Star Trek stuff. Okay, admittedly I'm really attached to these things. But if he wants them one day, they're his. Edit. Thank you, kind stranger, for the gold, and everyone for all the upvotes. I am humbled and honored. Not any monetary value, but my dad got rid of my entire Lego collection when I was in the Navy. My sister is pregnant with her first child and mentioned she wished we still had my enormous Lego collection for him, her son. It may not have been worth a fortune but it meant something to us. Lots of original Star Wars toys. They wouldn't be nib. Definitely use but still. Magic the Gathering cards. That Black Lotus and pretty much a lot of banned cards would be gold by now. I remember when State Quarters first came out. My father sent me a collection of every first edition State Quarter and one time I went to show my friends a while later and couldn't find them. I asked my mother and she said she had to use them for laundry. We were very poor at the time so I understand. But I was a little sad by it as well because it was one of the only things my father ever sent me. My hopes and dreams. None. For some unknowable reason my incredibly abusive parents kept everything. It's like underneath all the rage was love they couldn't find a way to express. I had every single Beyblade released in the US until I went to college and my mom gave them away to a worthy cause. Turns out she dumped them in the trash. The man who drives the garbage van told me about them and asked me if he could take them home for his kid. I agreed anyway. My G. Joes. Transformers and E-Men. Plus a bunch of Star Wars stuff. I don't know if they would be worth a fortune. But it wouldn't be small potatoes. 
My mass hoard of little pet shops. I miss them all. Oh and I had collectible model horses apparently. I still have two that I looked on eBay to be selling in the hundreds but I used to have six so darn. Edit. I hope I made some people realize that they could possibly be rich in toys. D. Barbies. My family wasn't super well off growing up. But for some reason they allowed my sibling and I to amass dozens of Barbies. Hundreds of clothes. Two dollhouses. Three cars. One RV. A plane. And so ducking much else besides. When I was 12 and had outgrown it all. My dad decided it was time to pass them on to younger cousins or otherwise get rid of them. Looking back. We should have held on to most of it. I had celebrity Barbies. Anniversary Barbies. Barbies that came with horses. All were ballerinas. All were otherwise novel in the Barbie world. I literally spent 10 years collecting Barbies and now don't even have a single shoe to show for it. Lots of Nintendo stuff. Basically thrown away when they took it to goodwill. I actually still collect those smushed pennies you can make from a crank machine at tourist attractions. I'm very proud of my original World Trade Center smushed penny. I was in the Trade Center two weeks before 9 stroke 11 happened. It scares me to think about how unlucky those tourists were that day. Not sure how much it would go for. But that penny is probably worth more than one cent. I had this book my dad gave me as a child. It was my absolute favorite book and got lost somewhere in our various moves. Which devastated me. My brother. Very thoughtfully went to buy it a couple years ago as a replacement and it turned out it was a limited copy. No longer in print and worth a bloody fortune. Needless to say he didn't buy it. But it's on my bucket list to get a copy. I just googled it again and looks like there's a couple copies available and much more affordable than they were a couple years ago. Maybe my dream will come true sooner than later. Update there is no way I'm going to find an original copy of this book. My copy was called House by Mouse by George Mendoza until that a different version was released called Sinida House, call Ms. Mouse which is different text. For anyone interested, here's a great article about it that basically sums up how I felt about the book and has some pictures as well. I know it's just a silly kid's book, but I loved it. House by Mouse. Update 2 I spoke too soon. So one amazing Reddit user you Cynthia Dangus was able to find a copy of the original House by Mouse and amazingly bought it and it's on its way. I'm honestly speechless at this beautiful gesture. So anyone who says Reddit is a toxic environment can stuff it. Some super nice random stranger has just reunited me with my most beloved childhood book and asked for nothing in return hero. Approx 20 kilograms of Lego bricks and accessories. The blue railway alone would be a fortune today. My mother gave them away and couldn't remember to whom. Technically a felony Nasaria. I had a 32 gallon plastic toad full to the top with legos from years of birthdays and Christmas. But due to my father's many many divorces they have been lost to time. I still dream about them to this day. My husband still has all of his pogs. Like a chest full of them. Please someone tell me they are worth something. I had mined 8 bitcoins at age 16. Kept them in a hard disk. When they grew in value I searched for and hard disk to know that my mom sold it to a 19 year old for $50. I still curse my mom for doing that. Photos of me with my biological father that my stepdad took from me. Different kind of fortune. First editions of the Chronicles of Narnia signed by C.S. Lewis. Brea horses and OG my little pony toys. As a horse girl. They were my favorite things. I would get my whole herd out every day and make them fight little horse wars in the hallway. One day, an adult trying to get to the bathroom stepped right into the heart of the infamously bloody battle of Bridal Creek and my dear Palomino warrior queen Sundance was crushed underfoot. Broken legs, an injury that no horse royal can recover from. Also my stepdad was mad about it and packed all of my horses up for the Goodwill Glue Factory. Still mad. How I wish they'd kept my lizards. Plastic molds of tiny wizards. Shiny shadows. Dust and druids. Bottles full of frothy fluids. Bibles blessed by pasty preachers. Spines of slimy. Spiny creatures. Missing teeth and extra digits. Monkey skulls and massive midgets. Broken hopes and secrets spoken. Bonds corrupted. Pledges broken. Half imagined dreams of danger. 
Teeny tiny slips of stranger. Dry bananas. Damp flamingos. Dirty dogs and crusty dingoes. Strange emotions. Nasty notions. Pink and purple putrid potions. Bits of paper. Paper flowers. Little spots of April showers. Capers kept and framed for dreaming. Sunlight through the window streaming. Rotten. Long forgotten curses. Sonnets. Stanzas. Rhymes and verses. Lies. Goodbyes and misdirections. All of these were my collections. The original Transformers in boxes. Had all main characters and nearly all of the smaller bots. Got him when I was 11. 12 or so in the mid 80s. Left for the military and mom had a huge garage sale. When I was a young man of 11 or 12. 1968 or so. I found my dad's collection of playboys. Every month for the first 5 years or so of publication. I would peruse them. Read the articles. Gaze in wide wonder at the pictures. My mom figured out that I had found them and made dad get rid of them. They would be worth several monies today. My friend recently told me he was going to get rid of his magic the gather cards. Not throw them away. But just get rid of them in a bulk sale. His reasoning was that he spends too much time on building decks rather than getting to stuff that needs to get done around the house and work. I told him to bring them over and I would hold on to them until his one year old son is able to play magic with him. A couple weeks later he brought over all his decks and loose cards in a small box. I wrapped them up and wrote his son's name on the box. I figure I hold on to them for about 11 years. I think 12 is about the right age for him to comprehend the difference between an instance versus an interrupt and how stacking spells work. McDonald's Happy Meal Toys from the late 80s, early 90s. My mother had collected and hoarded these until her death in 2003. My father ended up selling them at a yard sale during the 2008 recession to make more money. He sold them for $1 a piece. Some of those TY Beanie Baby Bears she had collected are worth at least $250 a piece today. Edit. Spelling. My Billion Swiss Francs Collection. When I was a kid I used to collect basketball cards. I would go with my dad to the flea market on weekends and buy packs from this old lady that had a table selling cards. One day she convinced me to get a pack from this new series one of the big companies was releasing. It cost a bit more than the packs I would normally get. But she got me excited about it. When I got home I opened the pack and among the cards was this really strange one that was just of a hardwood floor. I turned it around and read that I had one in framed autographed Sean Kemp card. I wasn't really a big fan of his. But I had never won anything in my life so I was really excited. I had to mail this card in and they would send the framed autographed one to me. I asked my mom if she could do it and she said sure. I would come home every day and check the mail right away to see if it came. But months passed and nothing. I asked my mom if she had mailed it and she said that she had. I never got my card. But I'm convinced that my mom accidentally lost it or threw it away and didn't want to tell me because she knew I would be upset at her. It may not have been worth thousands of dollars. But it's still something cool that I won and would have liked to have that would probably be worth like a couple hundred. My original Beyblades. The ones that will cut your hands if you pick it up. Also my Pokemon Yellow game I didn't open. It certainly wouldn't be worth a fortune. But I had all six of the Hercules plates McDonald's was giving out during the movie release. I was so proud of my collection and I ate dinner on one of those plates almost every day of the week. Of course I grew out of them. And probably let my mom throw them away. But I wish I had them now. Stamps. When I was around 7 I used to stay at this friend of my parents house. She was older. And sort of a substitute grandmother. Her mother lived with her. She used to collect stamps. When she passed away the Sabi Grand gave me the collection. My oldest brother had them in his room. I can't remember why. My parents used to make a big pile in the middle of our rooms of what was messy and we had a couple of hours to put it all away. My brother faffed about and didn't do it. So the remaining pile was thrown out. In that pile was the collection of stamps. To this day I believe that there would have been valuable stamps in that collection considering the age of the collection. But I'll never know. Lego. But I gave it all to goodwill thinking I was helping someone. A bunch of World War 1 coins that was thrown away because I never looked at them. 
I knew they were gonna be worth a fortune so I tried to not go near them because I was extremely paranoid. I had a shell collection. The shells itself was worthless. But I had a fossilized purple urchin. My paleontology lecturer freaked out when I was telling my friend about it. Dunno why. He said if I still had it and if it was he thought it was he would pay 60,000 Australian dollars for it. Yeah my mother chuck it years before that. I have never told her ha ha. Okay I am mad just reading these comments and feel bad for all of you. My mom refused to throw anything away that was mine unless it was clearly damaged. So yeah I still have my brat tour bus in my storage unit with the real working headlights and FM radio. Grandma however would have given everything I owned but the clothes on my back to the little girl at her church who probably threw away half the it I was forced to give her. I miss a lot of my toys she forced me to give away. Also my Harry Potter magazine she threw away on me like the rude little it she was. Oh what's this? Trash. Duck you grandma I am still never talking to you again for unrelated reasons. A massive hamper full of baseball cards that most were worth $0.505. They were donated to Salvation Army. OG Skylanders that I grinded to max LVL. I have some new ones but they're not as good. I had to take all my games out of the original cases and throw out them out along with manuals, how to guides, etc. I try not to think about it. All my game systems I've ever owed.